And goodbye. Funeral services were held today for six-year-old P.J. Avito. The little boy stabbed to death in a Brooklyn elevator on Saturday. He was laid to rest as his accused killer, Daniel St. Hubert, appeared before a judge. Catherine Brown is covering the court proceedings. Let's begin with Andrea Grimes and the emotional goodbye. A tiny white casket carried into the church, holding the body of a little boy gone way too soon. Hundreds of mourners lined up outside, waiting to say their final farewells to six-year-old Prince Joshua Avito, affectionately known as PJ. With the grace of God, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. PJ's father tried to keep it all together before his son's funeral this morning in Brooklyn. The first grader, tearfully remembered by many as a happy and bright young boy with a huge heart. Miss his smile, just his spirit and everything about him. PJ was stabbed to death Sunday in an elevator a few blocks away at the Boulevard Houses in East New York. His best friend, seven-year-old Michaela Capers, also stabbed and suffered critical injuries. PJ's parents arrived at St. Paul Community Baptist Church after a Spider-Man floral arrangement, a nod to their son's love of superheroes. I came to tears. There's nothing else, but I came to tears. I broke down inside. I had to. Mourners describe a heart-wrenching service that yet was also a celebration of PJ's young life. His father addressed the congregation saying, quote, my greatest joy and pleasure was my son. Mayor de Blasio came to pay his respects along with other elected officials and the head coach of the Chicago Bulls here on the left. PJ's cousin is forward Taj Gibson. It's going to be real hard just having that young face running around the barbecues, always saying, pick me up. At the end, PJ's parents released white doves, mourners chanting his name and vowing never to forget him. One of the loudest cheers during the service came towards the end when the pastor announced that Michaela is now out of ICU. A glimmer of hope for mourners at her best friend's funeral. In East New York, Brooklyn, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. It was a beautiful tribute. Michaela's family, by the way, did also attend this funeral. Pictures of the two children were included in a photo montage that played before the service.